This session is on Lewis structures and we're going to change from Lewis structures and molecules to polyatomic ions and we're going to work on the carbonate ion and actually we get some time related to a molecule carbon dioxide. So let's start. First of all, the polyatomic ions. Students hate to memorize them. And for instance, if we tell a student what is the formula for the polyatomic ion carbonate. I've seen it before. I see students write things like CO4, 2 minus, CO3, 1 minus, and finally, a few students may, may write CO3, 2 minus. And that's correct. Very quickly, if you add up the electrons, you'll get a hint of why it's correct. Carbon has four valence electrons. Each, car each oxygen has six. Six times four is 24. Plus you count the charge electrons. So that's 26 electrons. That adds up to 30. CO3, one minus four each oxygen six times three is 18 plus one for the charge 23 electrons and a good old carbonate exact carbonates four oxygen 16 two extra charges that is 18 and two is i'm sorry this is 18 18, 22, and 2 is 24. That is three octets. That's much more acceptable in terms of stability than these. So we're going to wipe these out. These are not correct. So this is what we're going to be dealing with, the carbonate ion. So let's look at its Lewis structure. You put the less electronegative element in the middle, carbon and surrounded by the three oxygens and you have you have to have at least one bond to hold it together that's one bond so you have to take the 24 total electrons subtract the six and you have 18 electrons we assign those around the outer atoms first two four six plus a bond is eight six 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 that's 18 let's put the charge up here remember this is not a molecule two minus ion now you see the problem we have octet surrounded three oxygens but look at carbon we do not have an octet we have six electrons three bonds so what we're allowed to do in Lewis structures if we have lone pairs of electrons adjacent to a an atom that has a deficiency, in the case carbon, we can share a pair of electrons between the two. So what we get is carbon with a shared pair of electrons, a double bond. And the other oxygen is here with its electrons. And the other oxygen is here with its electrons. Now we have eight electrons. Remember, this is a two minus ion, and we can verify that two minus nature, we wish, by looking at formal charges. Carbon has one, two, three, four electrons to start with, and it ends up with four. Remember, a formal charge, electrons are considered equally shared between the atoms. So the oxidation number here is zero. Down here, the double bond starts with six and it has one, two, three, four, half of the, each bond. Six, its formal charge is zero. And oxygen is six and one is seven. Oxygen's formal charge now here is minus one and here it's minus one. So you see, it doesn't add up, the formal charge does not add up to zero in an ion. It adds up to minus two and that's the same as the charge, which is two minus. But we have a problem here with this structure. 
this the carbon oxygen bonds the research says they're all equal length and here double bond would be shorter so do you remember we can see we can spot that there are two other possible resonance structures the oxygen the double bond can be instead of this position here can be in the, this position or it could be the double bond can be in this position so the reality is none of these structures are right the resonance structure says it therefore means that the the bond between each carbon and oxygen is essentially one and a third bonds because of the resonance and this more aptly depicts it now the reality is and we're just going to cheat a little bit and suggest to you that the geometry that we're going to be learning soon uh, is going to say that the carbonate ion is this triangle shape 2 minus ion and we'll put the formal charge down here uh, is a minus 1 and a minus 1 and you cannot go into the lab and grab a jar of carbonate ions but you can grab something like sodium carbonate sodium is one plus ions and what you have is a formula and a two you remember writing formulas sodium is a one plus ion carbonate is a two minus ion the formula is na2 this is the idea that this is a in a crystal structure you can get a jar of sodium carbonate sodium carbonate has been around for my goodness 5,000 years. The Egyptians used it in uh, a mummification process. It's a, it's a desiccant absorb moisture from the body. Uh, but they also used it for brushing their teeth or cleaning their teeth. They used it for making pottery, preservatives, uh, you name it. Uh, it. came from some of the dry lake beds in the uh, arid deserts in Egypt. But we make it to, the, to this day. In the process called the solvate process. So the carbonate ion is a polyatomic ion in a crystal structure such as sodium carbonate. Now very quickly uh, it's quite different from this structure carbon dioxide. Look at it. It looks very similar to carbonate. The carbon dioxide is carbon is a central atom and it is double bonded with two oxygens and what you need to do is go through the Lewis structure I'm giving you the answer here to verify the carbon dioxide which could have this Lewis structure what we're going to do is stop right here and, and recognizing polyatomics are charged molecules aren't and you can uh, if you want to you may go back to look at some of the other Lewis structure videos and also start looking ahead where we cheated into the geometry of, uh, of these molecules and ions, such as this polyatomic ion. Okay, we will stop right there.